Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles, was a 2008 TV series based on The Terminator, a sci-fi time travel story about evil robots from the future trying to change their own past, which is our present. This guy plays human MacGuffin John Connor, along with head actress Lena Headey and forehead actress Summer Glau. I love the original two Terminator films. They were perfectly executed sci-fi action spectacles, and obviously the show can't compete on that level. But there were always some deep themes behind the spectacle. It's about killer robots from the future, but it's also about terrible destiny, what it means to be human, weighing the needs of the many against the needs of the few, and motherhood. It's a little hokey at times, but on balance, you could do a lot worse. Today's math prop appears in the very first episode. The main characters use a time machine whose main interface device is this thing right here. This is the keypad from a Victor 600 series adding machine. I have the black and white one, but in the show they're using the brown and green model. This is actually a great machine to use for a prop like this since it's really easy to get the case off. Eh? In the Terminator universe, you can go back in time, but you can't bring anything back with you. So this was built using knowledge from the future, but with the technology of the past. It's like that thing in sci-fi when someone uses random stuff to make some advanced technology. She says it was built in 1963 and then left in this bank vault, just so that the heroes could use it at this exact moment in 1999. This keyboard comes from an adding machine that was produced in the 1940s or 50s, so I guess it makes sense that somebody in the 60s would have been able to use the parts to make the machine. But none of the rest of the machine makes any sense. There's coaxial cables attached to the side, which didn't become popular until the 1970s, and the display is crazy. It looks like a CRT screen, which I guess did exist in the 60s, but no way you could have made it display stuff like this. And it has a laser eye scanner? Alright, but at least the keyboard makes sense. The way you use a machine like this, each column is a single digit of your number. So 256 would look like this. Then you pull the crank to add it and the numbers pop back out again. If you type in two numbers in the same column, the first one just pops back out. You would do this like if you type the wrong number by accident and you want to fix it. Like this is 256. And there, I just switched it to 356. And what happens if I type a bunch of vertical numbers? Well, nothing. I'm just like resetting the input each time. When the scene starts here, there's actually already buttons pressed in, which doesn't make a lot of sense. I assume that's because they took the crank off of the prop, so now there's no way to pop the keys back out. And look what she types. Three numbers in the same column. Come on, Cameron. Doesn't really hold up to much scrutiny, but I do love that they put it in there. In episode 3, there's this scene with some math on a chalkboard. As usual for Hollywood, looks like gibberish to me. Maybe the quantum mechanics bra cat notation? But there's too many bars. Come on guys, you're gonna hurt each other. In conclusion, I give Terminator the Sarah Connor Chronicles my math props rating of good, I guess. Thanks to Andrew for the tip, and let me know if you see any more.